Hi, this is Dina, and I'm in Adobe Premiere Elements 9, and I'm going to show you how to use the Digital Hotcakes transitions. Now, there's two types of transitions. There's the type that fill the screen between your two clips, and there's the type that's going to require you to use a track mat. So first I'm going to show you how to use the transitions that fill the screen. So let's drop a couple of pictures down here in Video Track 1, and let's expand our timeline view a little bit. Okay, now this is Diana. She's our owner, and she's also my sister. So how about we smack her with a fly swatter? Because we can, because we have the Digital Hotcakes 101 transitions. So let's drag that, drag that fly swatter and drop it right about there. Now we're going to need to position the fly swatter where it fills the screen between these two clips. So let's grab our scrubber bar here and, and place it between the two clips. Okay, and what we need to do with this is just drag it now. Drag it until it's filling. There we go, right there. All right, and then let's see what that looks like. So we got Diana, she doesn't know what's coming. Smacked her good, it's as easy as that. Okay, now I will show you how to use the transitions that require a track mat. So let's go ahead and grab Diana, who by the way knows she's much loved, down here under Video Track 1. She is our outgoing clip. So we're going to drag our incoming clip into Video Track 2 and we're going to overlap them just a little bit. Alright, and next we're going to grab the Digital Hotcakes transition and I'm using the DSLR camera transition and I'm going to drop it in Video Track 4. Four, and I'm going to line it up with that incoming clip that's on video track 2. And there's a, we have a corresponding mat that comes with each of the transitions that require the use of a track mat. So I'm going to grab this mat and I'm going to put it in video track 3 and I'm going to line it up with the transition that's on video track 4. Okay, now go ahead and select Video Track 2, and we're going to go up here under Edit, and under the keying, right here we see you have a track mat key. We're going to drag and drop this track mat key onto Video Track 2. Okay, and next we're going to hit the Edit Effects down here at the bottom of this panel, and we're going to set our mat to Video 3 and we're going to set our composite to matte luma. Okay. Next we're going to move our scrubber bar here to the end of the transition clip. And then right here our little split clip tool, let's click on that. And now select this, new, this newly split clip here on Video Track 2, select that, and go back up here to matte and set it to none. And that's all there is to it. Here we'll see what it looks like. That's it.